Hello, and welcome back for more Fallout 3, where you join me and Liberty sitting here at the Beachview campsite in Point Lookout. Last time, after having parted ways with Desmond, we, um, well, repaired the bulb in the lighthouse so that it works again, then went over to the USS Sozamandius and unlocked the lockbox that was there, getting some more biogas grenades as a reward and some other minor loot. And then we met, went and met the resident of Black Hall Manor, old Obadiah Blackhall, who asked us to go and recover a book of his that was stolen by some locals and used in a occult ritual somewhere, um, just over the hills there. So we go on and recovered that, and today we have the choice of either returning to him or to a woman named Marcella, who um, thinks the book is evil and wants to go and destroy it or some such. Didn't give us a whole lot of info. And then the book is evil, evil, and uh, yeah, so. Um, but she's in a camp just over the beach here down the other side of the boardwalk. So we'll have a jog there. It's on the way back to Black Hall Manor if we're not fast traveling. And see if we can get any more info or, yeah, clues as to the Kriv Beckna range of cold book. Yeah, and well, not too much left to point look out after this. There's one other site off in the corner of the map we can pick up as well while we're doing this. But yeah, just over the dunes here. You can see some tents in the distance now. Let's say um, a medical site. Got response team or something. And there's um, hostilities afoot. Uh, not the double barrel. Plasma grenades flying. Well, you with the super sledge. Oh, I see some combat armor. I'll have that off of you. You can go away too. And one more. How are you doing? Okay, right there. Alright, that appears to be everybody now. You have leather armor. You have the combat armor. Over and covers us. Yep, we could definitely use a patch on that. Could use another one. This guy's wearing combat armor. Nope, some more leather armor. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. We have some tents to explore. Metal door to administration tent. Okay. We got a computer terminal, some first aid, and some ammo here. Ooh, a hard lock to pick. Okay. 49 bob bobby pins in our pocket that will be good 48 now and a whole lot of first aid stuff of course what else would we expect stealth boy and a terminal Collective Benevolence Volunteer Unit MD1802. Nonprofit Charter Numbers. St. Mary's County Point Lookout Area. Unit Mission Parameters. Okay. Evaluate medical and social needs of local populace. Raise awareness of health risks and provide aid on a local need basis. Assist with Federal Fitness Registry Compliance Program. Volunteers must always uphold the standards of the Collective Benevolence Program in public and private. Right. Uh, new Plague Public Information. The New Plague and You, copyright and distributed by Presidential Fitness Program 2059. Know the signs. Safeguard yourself and your community by knowing how to identify a person suffering from the new plague. Common symptoms include profuse sweating, unexplained contusions or swelling, 
massive external hemorrhaging, and new ideals such as socialism. All right, and remember to CIR. When you believe you've come into contact with a person exhibiting one or more of these telltale signs, remember to CIR. C. Confirm symptoms. Approach the person suffering from symptoms if no civil or medical professional is available to do so. Verify that the subject is exhibiting symptoms of new plague. I. Isolate. Once it's been established that a case of new plague may be present, separate yourself and the person exhibiting symptoms from the general population as the new plague is notoriously contagious. And R. Report. Report directly to the nearest Federal Fitness Registry of Medical Center and let the professionals handle it from there. Protect yourself. The new plague is what's commonly known as a social disease. This means that the new plague is especially contagious and can be commonly caught in the course of social interactions such as ice cream socials, cruising Main Street, promiscuous activity or sodomy, and attending fairs or festivals. So what's the best protection against social diseases? Why not stay home and enjoy a novel or home-cooked meal? Limiting your exposure to other individuals is the best and more surefire way to avoid contracting the new plague. And get registered. Did you know that your government can protect you from the new plague and other biological dangers? It's true, and all you need to do is visit your local federal fitness registry. Friendly federal professionals will be on hand to take a few minor samples and enter you in the national registry. Your compliance with the federal registry program not only keeps medical professionals up to date on your medical history and status, but contributes to valuable research programs and makes you eligible for special prizes, such as fuel rations or vacations to exotic domestic locales. Right. And unit lead logs. There we got some logs to go through. Log entry one. Arrived with first carload of volunteers today. Federal presence is nil. I guess the registry program came and went here at some point. There's some leftover equipment from them I've been authorized to remove from storage and use. We've got some basic antibiotics and hygiene supplies and a couple boxes of new plague awareness pamphlets. Not much to work with yet, but we were at least able to get settled into the motel. For now, I'll focus on setting up our outreach center with Victoria while the rest of our volunteers get out into the community and get a feel for their situation here. Log 2. <clears throat> The location we were given as our outreach center was a joke. The place is half built and what's been put together so far looks like it's going to fall in on itself anytime. The real estate company wasn't much help. I sent a request for some field supplies so we can set up an outdoor center until this situation can be improved upon. My volunteers are telling me that a lot of the area lacks basic infrastructure, so we'll probably want to get started with some basic vaccines and sanitation supplies. I included some of this on today's purchase request, but I don't feel like we get enough a grasp on the local situation to request much more than that just yet. Log 3. We staged our first outreach event today, which didn't go well. The majority of the population in the central area of Point Lookout are transplants from nearby urban centers. Lots of contracted construction workers, support staff for local businesses, a handful of business people involved in the construction projects. We're here to help the rural population who don't have a pot to piss in, but those people don't seem to come into town. We need to reevaluate our efforts. The local populace seems recluse. We'll have to get creative with our outreach. And log four. Victoria was badly wounded today. She took a truck of supplies out to the Ark and Dove Cathedral beyond the river. Most of the locals we want to help are living in primitive dwellings in the wetlands. The cathedral offered the closest public building to that area. She was in a much state to give details, but it sounded like nobody was around when she arrived. She ventured into the swamps to try and make contact with locals at one of the shacks out there. The paramedics are treating a wound on the back of her head. She'll be okay, but it sounds like her skull was fractured. Victoria doesn't remember anything beyond blacking out. There was nothing stolen from her person or the medical supplies, but I'm still going to err on the side of caution and forbid volunteers from wandering out there alone. We'll do the best we can from here. And... All right, well, I guess we got a bit of the point lookout lore here. I guess the locals were suffering from some affliction that goes back to pre-war time. They were here 2059. That's a good 18 years before the bombs dropped. 2077, another medical tent. Some yeast on the floor. First aid. 
if that one's a bust. This one, one of these is Marcella's. Another medical tent. Yes, oh, more first aid stuffs. You're gonna have to consume some of those blood packs, I think. Nice. All right, topped off on health, nearly. Oh, there we've discovered disaster relief outpost, and oh, okay, Marcella's tent is Marcella's tent. Nice. Uh, and we find Die Thief written in blood on the wall, Marcella's body the floor by the desk, with safe key, and lever action rifle. Here we find a hollow tape. Marcella's last words. Uh, it looks like a pre-war book right there. We'll get off the desk. All right. And Marcella's terminal. Private field journal. S. Marcella J. Abbey of the Road. Point lookout expedition. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me walketh not in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John 8. 12. All right. Latest entry. Audio file. Audio stored to user device. So those are the last words we just picked up. Found an ally. Was able to intercept an outsider Obadiah had sent after Kravbekna. I only hope my appeal to goodness was enough. I can't pay what he's offering. I'll pray that for the outsider's survival and that the Kravbekna finds its way to me, not Blackhall. Locals. Obadiah Blackhall. Met local by name of Obadiah Blackhall. He lives in an old manor by himself. Class A manipulator. He solicited me to recover a book which he claimed to be a family heirloom. The man gives me a bad feeling. I want to investigate this book and his connection to the swamp folk of the region, but he was reluctant when pressed for more information. Update. Confirmed Blackhall connection with regional beliefs. Appears that a recent ancestor to Obadiah, named Constance Blackhall, acquired obscure text known as Krufbeckna. Not good. I've heard mention of the book before. Must destroy. Obar the Ferryman. Ferryman, quite a character. Dubious on the faith, but tolerant at least to hear my ministrations. Seems there's quite a bit more to the man, and he certainly isn't without the smell of sin about him. We'll visit periodically while on point lookout to preach if he'll have me. And tribal culture, cathedral. Tribal culture occupies major sanctuary to the faith and region, cathedral of the Ark and Dove. Love to mine location for artifacts or any impact packs, but residents openly ostracize outsiders. Have offered to induct me into their tribe, tempting to undertake their this as a ruse to gain access, but moral reservations too great. And a travel journal. The pit. Took shelter with a merchant caravan during a windstorm. More worrying tales from the pit. I wonder if my purpose will take me there one day. For now, I must continue eastward to the Commonwealth. Leaving the Commonwealth? I've done what good I can here. Need to get out before it catches up with me. Was able to barter passage on a boat headed south. Don't know where I'll end up, but that's the nature of his work. And sojourn and capital wasteland. Dobar tied the Duchess up in the capital wasteland. I spent the afternoon trading at a place called Rivet City. Broke bread with a Father Clifford. Inspirational to see another believer of the faith. Must make my way back here soon. In fact. Right, so she's gotten around some. Uh, let's check the safe here. Take, um, yeah, a lot more first aid stuff we don't need. And some purified waters off the top here. Okay, right, let's see. Oh, we got lever action rifles to, yeah, repair. Pretty happy. Let we did the combat armor. Okay, the rifle put us under. I won't drink the dirty water anyway. Okay, let's head outside and then we'll play Marcella's last words as we wander off in that direction towards that last undiscovered marker. I think it's the last. So, notes and Marcella's last words. They attacked while I slept. I, I don't expect to survive. I only pray that... <coughs> You haven't taken that book to Obadiah. You must take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy the 
Chris Beckner, but you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the Capital Wasteland. Seek a place called Dunwich. Within is an obelisk itself, a, a wicked thing. It'll consume the book. You need only press the book to its surface. May God shed his blessings upon you, child. Make haste for Dunwich. My God, I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I sh sh Alright, so she wants us to take it to the Dunwich building and destroy it. We could just give it to Obadiah for his thousand caps. And he's uh, just over there. We're right below Blackwall Manor here. Pick this easy save. Get some 44 rounds, 136 caps, another lever action. We don't need it. We scoped 44s. No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks, at least not that bad. There's some beer and stuff out here. Right. Now out here on these islands, there's buried treasure. Or we have a shovel. Right here, the fertilizer shovel. Oh, I think I found the uh, Sarah Hollow tape. Yeah, for Oswaldo. Oswaldo, the footlocker is buried on the island with a single tree in the Dove Delta. Be careful, I peppered the area with a bunch of fake mounts just in case the Hughes gang finds this location. Regards, Benny. Alright, well, that was convenient to save us the time of running around and looking for all these little holes. Well, I didn't get very far, I guess. Out here digging when the bombs drop would be my guess. Yep, that's a lone tree, huh? Here's a hole. And some ammo and some pre-war money. Okay, all right. Nothing spectacular. But it was there. Oh, right, did we tag? Let's try to tag the marker while we're here. There, Dove Delta. And we're a little irradiated. I'll have to fix that. Get out of the water, head up towards Black Hawk Manor here, and we'll take some rataways. Let's take in some more rats, yeah, it's fine. Two should clean us right up. And we have a monument or something here. An inscribed plaque. Coastal Monument. Here marks the landing of Captain John Smith's shallop upon his discovery of Point Lookout in 1612. Well, that's neat. Okay. Did I see cherry bombs? I think I saw cherry bombs. Good. Two. Good. Nice. Alright, let's go pay a visit to Obadiah. We can just return his book to him. That's fine. Okay, so here we are once again in Black Hall Manor. Let's see if we can find Obadiah here. I'm still sitting in his chair. Would it have killed you to wipe your feet? Sorry. We'll have a seat. Have a word. The book. You found it. Quickly. Give it to me. Well, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Surely you're not considering giving it to Marcella. Come now. That woman can't rub two caps together. Give it to me and be paid. 
Marcella is dead, actually. I figured you had something to do with that. Can't say that I did. But that's all the more reason you should give the book to me. And we got bumped out of the conversation there. We had a bargain, Roughneck. Hand the book over and collect your fee. You have the caps, you get the book. Yes, yes, of course. Here's your errand fee. Now give it to me. All right, we got our caps. We get some XP and quest completed. The Dark Heart of Blackhall. And off goes Obadiah. Let's go uh, follow him and see what he's up to. He's going to wander off to a place we couldn't have seen before exploring the mansion. Would it have killed you to wipe your feet? You just get on with it already. He goes down into the basement. Let's go see what he's up to here. Gaia. You shouldn't be here. Get out of my home. I, I thought this occult nonsense was below you. Don't play it what you misunderstand, Troglodyte. Get out. You shouldn't be here. Get out of my home. Try the other line. I usually had my bodies in the river, but this is nice too. We are nothing alike. More so than you could ever comprehend. Go now. Never return. Okay. But yeah, he's got a dead local creeper on an altar here. Brings the book down. Starts saying some words, I guess. Well, maybe Marcella was right. Maybe the book should be destroyed. Or maybe if the book isn't destroyed, maybe you should be. So are we hidden? Yeah, got the ritual knife we picked up out of the um, yeah, ritual site. Let's uh, have our own little sacrifice party here. Obadiah, rest in pieces. We'll take the crypt back now, back for ourselves. Nice. And there we go. We'll finish the quest in our own way. I don't know why he has radioactive goo dripping from the ceiling there. That's a little odd. Right. And from here, I guess we can head back outside. It's the entryway. Other end. Right, that's the library. Oh yeah, this was the entryway. All right, outside. Okay, outside of Black Hall Manor. Our last objective, I guess, is making some moonshine. Let's see, we need fission batteries and yeast. We still have the punga fruit. Let's head back to Desmond's safe house. Oh. Um, it would appear we can't try. Oh, yeah, we can travel to Calvert Mansion. All right, there's the lighthouse. I thought that was the lighthouse there. Good, we can travel back to Calvert Mansion. Let's go. And, oh, look, the lighthouse is shining now. Ooh. Left point look out a little better than we found it. And here's the safe room. Panic room, whichever. Do you have yeast? Oh, he does have yeast as well. Good. We're gonna borrow your cabinet. I'm sure we have stuff we can dispose of here. And frag grenades can go, that's fine. We need a lot of weight for the um Vision batteries. 
Yeah, we'll leave a bunch of plasma. Uh, yeah, plasma mines. Pulse grenades. We'll deposit a bunch of those too. You can always come back up for them easy enough. Pulse mines don't really care. That shovel can stay. That's some unnecessary weight. Terrible. Hockey mask can stay. Keep the slasher mask. Travel guard waves five. That can go. Aids. Nine pounds of dirty water can stay here. That's fine. Three balls of moonshine. Keep the quantums. Don't need that many stealth boys. Move down to get closer. Trigger bomb's a bit of a waste. Yeah, how boy I meet, that's fine. Get right here. Oh, you're not a real pre-war book, but you can go away. Pretend that's enough weight for all of the fission batteries. We need a little more weight. Sensor module, tin can, turpentine. Let's get rid of all that excess. Four lunch boxes. I think we'll live. Okay, that might be able to do us. We got one, two, three yeast, and one, two, three, four, five, six fission batteries. And we're still over encumbered. And what has to stay? Three pounds. Three pounds. Half dozen plasma grenades. Done. All right, back outside. Let's find Marguerite Shack. There's Haley. There's Marguerite. Front door? No. Where's your front door? There's your front door. My, my, look at you. Well, if it ain't my favorite out of towner. Well, let's talk about your tonic. We need to gather up the ingredients. Well, is this enough bunga fruit for you? I see you sprung for the refined fruit. Good for you, sweetie. All right, and again, I guess. We need to gather up the ingredients. Yeast. I see. Thank you kindly for these. And one more. We've got the batteries. I thought so. Those things do carry a smell, don't they? Let me take them off your hands then. All right, and what's the status on the tonic? Brewing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? Right, all right. So we gotta wait a day. Uh, well, yeah, let's head back outside. There's one more thing. Well, not so much that we can do, but have to do before we leave. So let's just head back down to the pier here. We'll head towards the Duchess Gambit. Out front we see Nadine. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Wait, Tobar did it? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. And how do I know you're telling the truth? <laughs> Sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Right. Remind me not to mess with you. Damn right. Now, why can't the rest of the world figure that one out? So, that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. 
think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Well, thanks, Nadine. Um, yeah, we're not leaving just yet, so let's go. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Alright, well, let's go confront Tobar. She suggested a hot knife. I think we have something more just. The Punga shovel. Let's head into the engine room. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? <clears throat> so it's true. Why did you do it? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I'd probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Oh, what the hell? All right. Hold on, let me get my weapon out. Beat you with the shovel. Poisonous Punga shovel. And down goes Tobar. And we got the Duchess Gambi key, some Magnum rounds, auto cabs, riverboat ticket. Yeah, pretty much everything he had in his inventory. Ooh, a trader hat. We have the outfit, but not the hat. Okay, we don't want anything else. Thanks, Tobar. Oh, yeah, and, um, a bunch of bits of brain and jars around, but one in particular here, a familiar piece of brain. Gray matter. For some reason, you fear a terrible sense of loss as you look at the familiar lump of gray matter. Well, let's take it. Lump of brain added. And there's supposed to be a perk associated with that. Make your head harder to cripple or something. But I think it's broken and effectively does nothing. So. There, there. But we got our bit of brain back. I guess. Let's take a... Oh, no, we don't want to sleep. I was going to say we'll wait and go wrap up Spoonful of Medicine or whatever that quest was with Marguerite. Try 20 hours here. All right, so much resting later. Let's uh, head back to Marguerite. Hopefully with the fast travel, it's been a day. Well, if it ain't my favorite out-of-towner. Has the tonic finished brewing? Should be ready in a matter of hours. Check back soon. Fine. Shorter distances, I guess. I'll try two. My, my, look. Good thing, sweetie. Tonic's brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. Yeah, hey, thanks, Marguerite. We get six moonshines, Don't 300 bottle caps, the XP, and a spoonful of whiskey. All right, well, here we are. Let's head back down to here one last time. And, uh, yeah, come out here and say farewell to Point Lookout. Having, well, take care of Professor Calvert and Desmond, old Obadiah Blackhall, and uh, yeah, detonating a derelict submarine for a Chinese spy. All kinds of fun stuff to do out here. Okay, so uh, next time we'll head back to the Capital Wasteland and get on with uh, Broken Steel and the end of the game in its entirety. So until then, thank you all for watching and goodbye.